What's happening, everybody? Welcome to Car Audio 101. I'm Boston Jim. Hit answer your car audio questions. All right, let's see what we got here right now. Nathaniel Delgado. I think he misspelled his own name. Nathaniel? Is it Nathaniel? I've got two 12 inch kickers, CVR. I want it to knock harder. Would series or parallel be better? Off the bat, those are solid subwoofers, my guy. I'm a fan. For those of you unfamiliar, these are dual voice coil. 400 watt RMS subwoofers. We've got a video on the entire line of CVI subwoofers, so go ahead and check that out, link in the bio. Back to the question. This isn't about which is better, series or parallel. It's about setting up your subwoofers to the capabilities of your amplifier. You could wire them either in parallel or series and they'll theoretically have the same maximum output. And that limit is dictated by the enclosure, tuning frequency, vehicle, and the maximum consumption of the subwoofers. The wiring is key in determining the maximum output of your specific amplifier. In your case, this is what that means. You already have an enclosure that is tuned to a specific frequency. What that frequency is, I have no fucking idea. Why you chose not to tell us, it's probably because you're a bad person. Just kidding. You already have your vehicle, which will influence the frequency response inside the vehicle. You likely already have an amplifier. Which one? Again, you didn't f***ing tell us. Is it because you're inexperienced and didn't really think that it'd be that important to know? Or you're a piece of s***? I don't f***ing know. Again, these are just jokes, guy. Future reference people just give us model numbers. It'll make everyone's life a little easier. So we're going on the assumption that it needs to be wired in a way to give you maximum amplifier output. If you don't have an amplifier, the key to purchasing one is combining the RMS ratings of the subwoofers. Then you can find an amp that matches that power requirement. We've already made some videos on this topic. Ideally, you want an amplifier with a power range of about 90 to 120% of your subwoofers combined RMS rating. So if your subwoofers combined for 1000 watts RMS, you want an amplifier that does about 900 to 1200 watts RMS minimum. And amplifiers rate their outputs at different ohms, usually four ohms, two ohms, or one ohms if they're capable. The wiring combinations allow you to match the amplifier output to your power requirements at a specific impedance or load. Wiring in parallel reduces impedance, whereas wiring in series increases impedance. And the lower the impedance, the more power you get. So as you present a higher impedance, your amplifier outputs less power and less heat. As you lower the impedance, your amplifier increases the output and heat. A downside to a lower impedance is a sacrifice in efficiency due to the added heat. Generally, depending on your amplifier, a 1 ohm load will be about twice as powerful as a 2 ohm load with slightly less efficiency. Same thing with a 2 ohm load being twice as powerful as a 4 ohm load and again less efficient. TLDR, what is your power requirement? What are your possible wiring combinations? Find an amp that matches your output with one of your wiring combinations. The impedances of the subwoofers play a major factor in what you can wire. The Kicker CVRs are all dual voice coil subwoofers. However, they come in 2 ohm or 4 ohm. So if you have two of the dual voice coil 2 ohm subwoofers, you can make a 2 ohm load in parallel or an 8 ohm load in series. If you have two dual voice coil 4 ohm subwoofers, you can make a 1 ohm load in parallel or a 4 ohm load in series. Those are your options for wiring depending on the impedances of the subwoofers. In the end, Nathaniel, it's up to two things for you and your system. What impedance your subwoofers are and your personal preference in terms of power. All right, everybody, that's it for this Car Audio 101 question. Hopefully it sheds some insight into Nathaniel, Nathaniel, whatever your name is. For those of you with car audio questions yourself, leave them anywhere on the channel. I'll fucking find them. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, dislike it if you hated it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Thanks for watching. Say hello to your mother for me.